Hey guys, Glenn here. This is my review of the Solvol filament dryer that I bought off of Amazon for $56 and change. Super cheap, holds two filament rolls. It has a fan inside it, which is going to be a lot better than the really cheap ones like Sunlu, for instance, that don't have any fan. You can also dry your filament while you're printing, which is a really cool feature. I did a little experiment of a roll of filament that's been sitting out for way too long, uh, probably a couple months I'm assuming, and it just became unprintable. I printed with that before I dried it, then I printed with it 6 hours after I dried it, and then I printed with it 12 hours after I dried it. So you're going to see for yourself, does this work or not? Let's jump in. Alright guys, here it is. I did the liberty of depackaging it to save you time. Give a thumbs up if you don't want me to waste your time. And here it is. I got this one specifically because it held two spools and it also got a lot hotter than um, the JO or the Sunlu, which is the same company. Um, single one. Um, so uh, it also got a fan in there. I'm gonna test this out with some PETG. It's been sitting out for a long time, getting really super stringy. All right. I like how this lid can just open. And there's other models that you have to hold the lid, two hands, and lift it up and down. Not a huge fan of that. So how you operate this is you just undo these two clips here. You lift it up, put your roll in. It'll fit two rolls. Um, or if it's a really big roll, you can put it right in between. Uh, you can print at the same time, uh, if you need to, through these holes on the top here. This one and this one. But I just keep them closed. You latch it. And then it's a very simple operation. You turn it on, you press M. This starts at 40, you press twice to go to 50 if you want to go up to 50 for PETG, for instance and then click it. You could do uh, six hours, seven, uh, all the way to 12. Um, I usually just do six hours and then you press them again and it says work right there and it'll go back and forth between how much time is left and wait for a second. Now you got the temperature and you got the humidity. Within about 30 minutes, it'll be about uh, 50 degrees. It does take a while to warm up, but it also doesn't spend a lot of electricity, uh, which is a good trade-off. All right, guys, here we have J.O. PETG, a few months old, probably. I, mean, I usually go through it pretty quick, but this must have really skipped my batching. But as you can see, it's getting to the point that it's just ruining the print. It's so bad. Um, now, I'll show you the next one. This is after six hours of drying the filament. As you can see, it's a doable print. I can clean it up real, real fast, put a heat gun to it after scraping these things off of my fingers. And then now I'll show you 12 hours after. almost back to what it was. J.O. is not the best PETG. That's why it's $16. Um, and that's why I buy it, because it's cheap. And I do a little bit of post-processing. This is pretty much normal for J.O. Um, right out of the box. So it brings it pretty much back to life. PETG. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like making money with your 3D printer, subscribe. If you like this video and got any kind of useful information out of it, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. Um, you know, I really appreciate everyone that watches my videos, and you guys have a good day.